the first item on our January 8th uh, board meeting was the changes, proposed changes to the BC Societies Act. It's a provincial legislation uh, that's coming up for some changes and some of them may affect or will affect uh, us as an organization and uh, BCRA had hired a, a lawyer to come up with um, a suggestions that they could take to the government. Uh, there were a lot of proposed changes. We'll have to wait to see when they come, uh, but at least the uh, position of organized real estate is in, uh, has been put forward through our support and through BCRA support. Another agenda item we had on the uh, January 8th uh, Board of Directors meeting was the proposed changes to our bylaws. The first item that will be on the agenda uh, at the AGM will be looking at the time away. When you're a director presently, you're a director of for up to six years, and then you step away from the table for a year. The Governance Committee felt that maybe a two-year break would be good for the individual and also good for the board to make sure that we have a continuous new growth of people coming in. So we've recommended, uh, based on the Governance Committee recommendation, that we go to a two-year term break rather than uh, just the one. The next bylaw amendment uh, is to do with the election of the vice president. A very important uh, situation and we need to have new people coming up. Presently it is the incoming directors after an election that would be electing. Uh, in our system right now up to six new people could come to the table that may or may not know much about the people that are running. Therefore it was a feeling of the governance committee and the directors as a whole that the outgoing uh, directors should should uh, select the vice president so that we know the organization stewardship is is maximized by having the right people making the decision people that have actually worked with these potential vice presidents the third change that we're proposing at the AGM this year is to do with uh, vice president eligibility presently any elected individual can run for vice president without having had any experience at the table uh, what the governance committee has recommended and, and we are supporting is a change that you would have to have been at the board table for one of the last two years, thus assuring that the people that get there have some experience at the table. The fourth item we're looking at this year is director honorariums. Uh, in the past, historically, we have been providing honorariums. It hasn't been a requirement of the Societies Act to have it there. However, with the changes coming, we felt it was appropriate that this year, ahead of the Society Act changes, we would put it in our bylaws. So we're bringing it forward for approval this year. One of the last items we had was the TransLink referendum that's coming forward. Our Government Relations Department felt it was important that we supported the yes side. The Board of Directors looked at two motions. The first was to get involved with a group of organizations that would be on the yes side in support, which we agreed to. And the second was to support the 0.5 increase in the taxation to allow this to happen. So as a Board of Directors and as an association, we want to support the yes side. Mm -hmm.